So before a new drug goes into clinical trial, companies want to see how that drug performs in simpler systems. So they've got two options. They can test in cell culture, what we call in vitro systems, or they can test in small animals, what we call in vivo systems. So there's a massive cost advantage to testing your drug in cell culture. So these are dishes of cells growing in a laboratory. So for example, if you're designing a drug to treat human lung cancer, you can grow lung cancer cells in a dish. You can then apply that drug to that dish and see how those cells respond. So you're looking for specific readouts in the cell biology to tell you if that drug is effective and safe to those cells. Now, if you get a strong hit with, with, this, uh, with this drug, you're then going to want to move and test this on a, a small model system, usually a mouse, before you go into human patients. So testing on mice, it's more expensive, but you get the benefit of treating a whole animal. So you're not just treating individual cells, you're treating the whole animal so you can see how different tissues respond to the drug. And then you can also see how this drug is delivered into a mammalian system. And you can measure metrics such as how quickly this drug is broken down once it's in a uh, whole animal.